There's the fence. You can see the other side over there a little bit. I'll walk through. This fence is a two, uh, drive gate, so I can drive my van right through. So now nobody can see the dogs under the, uh, here's the house. So it's butted up to the front of the house. And nobody, I still haven't put the third kennel up, but nobody can see the dogs under the overhang. <clears throat> Hey Lulu, what's up? And I still have 240 feet beyond the edge of my fence back here. There's the water system. All this was bamboo right here before. This was all completely bamboo and not really trees, just mostly bamboo, which is like uncontrollable. I think the back here is where I'm going to put the uh, 20 kennel, indoor outdoor kennel run. And I have a, uh, a walk gate behind here. I'll go back here. Over here is a, it's a structure she used to have for kennels but I'm not sure if I'm gonna either make that a grooming area for the dogs or if I'm just gonna put like hang up some heavy bags or something in there and make a little boxing gym for myself. Back here I have, I still have 240 feet of property to walk back here. What you just saw just there was about 250 feet, so I have about double, double the amount of property to go back. No, what you just saw was probably about 150 feet, so I got like double, more than double of what you just saw. But now the dogs can't get out. This was a lot of work for those guys. They had to pick up all the, uh, dig up all the bamboo, had them clear it and everything. I could even put kennels in here if I wanted to, but I don't know if I'm going to get brand new kennels made. Why put other kennels? My whole property is 651 feet long by 100 feet wide, so 240 feet is a pretty good amount of distance. I could put, I could fit an entire uh, 20, 20 run kennel run in there, another one. So here's the back of the house. This was all covered with bamboo too. All this was just completely thick with bamboo. And that's the other side. And then the front part of the yard is still all chain link fenced in. So I let the dogs run around and out here in the front and they, they can't get out. And I usually leave Monkey in the back while I let Scratch and Nuts run around the front. There's my Kia. There's my dead game van. Now Monkey and Scratch stay in the house. Monkey, Scratch, and Nuts stay in the house all together. What's up, guys? No major bottles and keeping everybody in the 
What's up, monkey? 